YouTube is loaded with videos to help you study smarter. Some techniques help you well and some don't. But exams are a different case. You have limited time and there is a lot of stress. And you are aiming either to top the exams or just to pass with good grades. The books you have been studying are so lengthy that you can't cover the entire syllabus in a few weeks or days. Even if you have prepared the whole syllabus with extremely hard work, chances are you are still not in the top 20% of the students. Why is that so? There are two possibilities for this. One, you have studied the books, but that was not a planned and smart study, so you don't have a proper grasp of knowledge. Another thing is you have a fantasy to be a topper, so you wanted to study each and every part of the book and you wasted all the energy on the tasks that were not even important. Why are things like this and how are you going to deal with it? Stay with me and I will tell you such a method that even if you cannot study the whole year, you can still go through the exams easily. I repeat, you can get through the exams easily. And even if you have not studied the entire time, you can still get ahead of 80% of students with this technique. Stick with me and I promise you are going to hit the lottery in the next few minutes. Without wasting more time, let's move on to the actual method, which is the Pareto Principle, the famous 80-20 rule. It is a concept that originated from the observation of economist Vilfredo Pareto, who noted that roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. This principle has since been applied to various fields, but it is most effective for time management and productivity. In the context of studying, I will explain how to exactly apply the 80-20 rule and how can you get the desired effect you want from it. It is a rule to help you study smarter and convert your focus into the most impactful activity, so it will maximize your results with less effort. The principle. The 80-20 rule says that a small portion of your effort, say, 20% contributes to most of your outcomes, almost 80%. In studying, this means that a small portion of your study material is likely to be responsible for the majority of the exam questions, which means that less than 20% of the syllabus can give you more than 80% marks. Believe me, it's not a stupid statement. You can wait for a second and rethink what I just said. This is actually the smartest thing you just have to learn now. In the next minute, I will explain it to you clearly and will also tell you to use it to go ahead of 90%. Here is the 80-20 rule explained in five steps to study smarter. Number one, identify the high yield material. So if you want to identify the 20% topics that carry 80% marks, you start by picking up the past papers. They contain high yield material that is more likely to be repeated in the coming exam. Even if questions are not repeated, you should not worry, because from past papers you can see paper patterns, types of MCQs, or short questions and the way they are explained. This will mentally prepare you to have a structured and targeted approach to studying for exams. You will also understand the weightage allocated for different chapters and what are the questions that are mostly repeated. It is the most important step to do before preparing for exams. Number two. Identify key topics from the study material. Now use the past paper questions to mark all the important topics. You can also get help from your seniors or teacher to help you mark the most important topics and questions. You can also get help from the books that your seniors used to prepare for exams last year. Here a game changer thing can be your class notes because they can refresh your forgotten knowledge quickly. Number three, utilize active learning techniques. Instead of passively reading, open the topic on YouTube and watch a short length video at 1.5x speed. Now, quickly read the topic from solved papers and then from your book. This is the way you actively learn without wasting time. Focus on activities such as quickly summarizing key points, teaching the material to someone else, or solving problems related to the most important topics. Number four, practice with sample questions. Now pick past papers questions one by one and start solving each. This will not only help you to memorize and analyze each important topic one by one, but will also save you time by bypassing the whole book revision. Give all this material two revisions and remember to always save time for revision even if you have to leave some chapters. 
70-80% of the syllabus, which is extremely important for exams, has been prepared. Now you have some know-how about each chapter and you have already mastered the most important concepts in each chapter. So, now use the save time to quickly go through the less important topics and give two quick revisions if possible. Here you are almost 90% prepared and prepared to give a tough competition to the toppers of the class. Number five, adapt your study techniques. Assess the effectiveness of your study techniques. If you find that a particular method is not yielding significant results, you can modify it according to your own situation. Experiment with different study strategies to find what works best for you in grasping and retaining the key information. By applying the 80-20 rule to your study routine, you can optimize your efforts, ensuring that you focus on the most important elements of the material. This approach can lead to improved retention, better understanding, and ultimately, more efficient use of your study time. If you like this video, please share it with at least one of your friends as a token of appreciation. You can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get more videos like this.